We'll begin in a comfortable seat today. Maybe cross-legged or perhaps extending the legs in a comfortable stretched position in front of you might feel more comfortable. If you are feeling tight in the hips or rounding in the low back, you might take a folded up blanket and bring the folded up blanket underneath you to provide some support for the low back and pelvis. Stretch the spine tall to the sky and soften the shoulders from the ears as best you can. We'll take an inhale breath here and an exhale breath. Breathing into the belly if that's accessible today or just taking a deep breath anywhere that's accessible. Perhaps breathing into the heart, front, back, sides of the heart. Maybe one more deep breath here. Inhale breath. Exhale breath. Taking some torso circles. We'll gently press the heart forward and up. And then circling the torso to the side. I'll turn to face front so you get a little better view of that. Pressing the heart to one side, then rounding back through the upper spine, maybe letting the chin drop toward the chest, and then pressing the rib cage, the heart toward the other side of the room. An easy, soft circle. So inhale the heart forward, exhale side and back, inhale to one side. Exhale back to center. Inhale here. Exhale halfway around the circle. Inhale. And exhale, complete the circle with the heart. Inhale and exhale halfway around the circle, maybe supporting with hands on the knees or thighs. Inhale and exhale, the completing the circle with the heart. One more. Inhale and exhale halfway around the circle and inhale and exhale halfway the other way pause and then reversing that circle so inhaling the heart forward and up a bit and then exhale to the opposite side opposite direction circling the heart and then pressing the heart back maybe letting the chin drop the tail tuck under and then pressing the heart to the other side of the room, gentle press, and then back to center. Let's take an inhale breath here. Exhale to second side, second direction. Inhale and exhale, finishing the circle. Inhale and exhale, tracing that circle with the heart to halfway around the circle. Then inhale and exhale, circling the heart, finishing the circle. A couple more that way. Inhale and exhale, halfway around the circle. Inhale and exhale, second half. Maybe one more circle, inhaling and exhaling to the back. Inhaling and exhaling to the front. And then pause here, soften the shoulders, take an inhale breath and exhale breath. Easy circle through the neck. Inhale, ear to shoulder, pick a side. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, ear to shoulder, opposite side. Exhale and around, lifting long out through the neck. Inhale, ear to shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, ear to shoulder. Exhale, lift, gentle circle of the head back. Maybe two more that way. Inhale and exhale, chin to chest. Inhale and exhale, lengthening the neck back. One more circle this direction. Inhaling and exhaling halfway. And inhaling and exhaling. Completing that circle through the neck and bring the head center, reversing the circle, second side. So start with an ear to shoulder, 
Then gently draw the head back, length through the neck, and then ear to shoulder, chin to chest. Inhale, ear to shoulder. Exhale, lengthen back. Inhale, ear to shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Circling the head the other way. Maybe two more soft, easy circles. Inhaling and exhaling. Let this be easy. Released. Maybe one more circle this way. And pause with chin to chest. Gently lift the head center. Let's roll the shoulders. Inhale the shoulders forward and up. Exhale back and down. Feel a stretch across the front of the chest and shoulder. Inhale shoulders up. Exhale back and down. Maybe two more that way. Inhale. And exhale, opening through the front of the heart. Maybe one more inhale and exhale breath here. And pause. If it's accessible and comfortable, we'll walk ourselves to tabletop hands and knees. Hands grounding under shoulders, knees under the hips. You might take a blanket or some extra padding for underneath the knees or underneath the wrists. Fan the fingers wide, maybe ground the tops of the feet down. Take an inhale breath here. And exhale breath, extend the right leg long behind you. Maybe tucking the toes, maybe the toes stay resting on the mat, or you might float the right leg away. Take an inhale breath here. And exhale, ground the right leg down to the mat. Second side. Inhale the left leg long behind you. Maybe the toes tuck and the toes stay resting on the mat, or you might let the left leg float up off the mat. And exhale, ease back to tabletop. Same thing, right and left. Inhale the right leg stretches back. Leg can lift or not. And then exhale and ground to tabletop. Left leg, inhale, the left leg lifts. Exhale and grounding down. Inhale, right leg, this time alternating sides. Exhale and ground down. And left side, inhale, left leg. Exhale and ground. Right leg lifts and holds behind you, pausing here on the right side and noticing the shoulders. Maybe you can draw the shoulder blades down away from the ears. Noticing the position of the hips, perhaps squaring that right hip toward the earth a little bit more. If that's accessible and comfortable today, and we'll take an inhale breath here. And exhale, ground to table. Second side, left leg floats up and we hold this time for a few breaths. Perhaps pressing into the L's of the hands, the base of the index fingers and the base of the thumb. Noticing the position of the hips, perhaps squaring the left hip toward the earth just a little bit more if that's possible today. And take an inhale breath. And exhale, ground to tabletop. Now the arms, inhale, float the right arm forward and up, and then let the right fingertips trace all the way up to the sky and pause here in this tabletop twist. Inhale breath, we tap the right fingers down to the mat, just tap the right fingers down, and then exhale, stretch back up to that twist. Inhale, fingers tap down. Exhale, stretch the fingers, maybe a couple more. Inhale, tap down. Exhale, stretch up. And then grounding back to tabletop. Left side, inhale the left fingers forward and up. Then allow the left hand to stretch all the way toward the sky as high as feels comfortable in a tabletop twist. Then tapping the left fingers down with an inhale breath and exhale, stretch back up to that twist, lift out of the bottom shoulder. Inhale, tap down. 
exhale, stretch up. Maybe one more this way. Inhale, tap down. Exhale, stretch up to the sky. And then grounding back in tabletop hands and knees. A cat cow pose here. Inhale, lift the sternum forward and up. Let this lift come from the upper spine. Allow your low back to stay comfortable and a neutral curve there. And then exhale, round cat stretch. Puff up the upper back. Draw the tailbone underneath you. Let the chin sink toward the chest. And inhale, cow pose. Let this lift come from the sternum. Sternum forward and up through the hands. Maybe the chin lifts a little bit. Exhale, round cat stretch. Head and tail curl under the body. Maybe one more this way. Inhale to cow pose, letting the heart center lift forward and through the hands. Shoulder blades from ears. Exhale, round cat stretch. And coming to that neutral tabletop position, we're heading into a lunge pose, making your way with the right foot to the top of the mat. So you might swing your right leg around and heel toe the foot around, maybe even uh, grabbing the ankle and working your right foot forward between your hands. You might choose to leave the back knee grounded if that feels good. Check in front knee over front ankle. And then maybe walk the hands to the top of the knee. Pause here for a moment and notice if there's something you can adjust, maybe some padding under your back knee, maybe narrowing the space between back knee and front foot might give you some more support in the hip. So you're not overstretching through that back hip. And then when you feel grounded and ready, you might stretch a hand or two overhead. Take an inhale breath here. Exhale breath, bend the elbows, allowing the heart to open up a little bit. So we're squeezing the shoulder blades together and back, dropping the shoulders away from the ears, maybe lifting the sternum a little bit. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, stretch the fingertips to the sky. Inhale, bend the elbows, lift the heart a little bit. And exhale, stretch to the sky. Maybe one more that way. Inhale, bend the elbows, lift the heart. Pause for a breath here. And I'll invite you to bring your hands to your knee or maybe to the mat. We're setting up for a warrior two grounded on the earth. So we'll take our back foot and we'll rotate our back foot so the toes are pointing behind us. So the back shin is now perpendicular to the front foot. And then when you're ready, stretching up into warrior two, checking in front knee over front ankle in this warrior two. Soften the shoulders from the ears and we'll look over our front middle finger here. In this case, it'll be our right hand if that feels good. Then maybe a little stretch through the side body. You might flip the front palm and inhale. Maybe your back hand comes to your waist for support. We take a little lean, stretching through the front side body. Easy lean here. You might take your hand and support your belly with your hand if that feels better here as well. And we're coming back to our warrior two arms. Inhale a little lean, hand to the waist or belly. Exhale back to our warrior two, maybe two more, one or two more this way. Inhale, a little stretch. Exhale and return. Maybe one more this side. Inhale and a little stretch back. Exhale and return. And I'll invite you to make your way back to your tabletop, grounding the hands down, maybe heel toeing that front foot around until you can land in your tabletop position. We're heading over to second side. It'll be your left foot now that works forward. So you might swing your left leg around, heel toe the foot forward, maybe use your hand to draw the foot forward between your hands. 
and take a moment to check in and notice if there's some adjustments you might make, maybe make changing the space between the front heel and knee, assuring your front knee is over your front ankle. And when you're ready, walking the hands to the top of the knee for a lunge pose. You might tuck your back toes and lift your back knee if that feels good here as well. That's always an option today. And then when, if you feel ready, you might stretch the hands skyward. One or two hands, just as high as feels comfortable and breathe into this lunge pose. Take an inhale breath, exhale breath. Let the hands float down by the sides, maybe pressing the palms to the space behind us and drawing the shoulder blades together, opening the heart. Inhale, maybe the hands sweep forward and up. Maybe the gaze lifts a little bit there. Exhale, the hands swing down by the sides. Maybe palms press backward to the space behind you. The backs of the palms pressing back. Inhale, the hands forward and up. Exhale, sweeping the hands back behind you. Maybe one more this way with your breath if that feels good. Inhale, the hands forward and up. Exhale, sweeping the hands back. Back to the palms, stretching into the space behind you as you squeeze the shoulder blades together. Let's pause here. Bringing the hands back to the earth. We're working that back foot around. So back foot rotates so the toes are pointing behind you. Setting up so now your back shin is perpendicular to your front foot. And when you're ready, bringing the arms up to a warrior two, checking in front knee over front ankle here. Arms can stretch long, taking a breath or two to maybe look over your front middle finger. Now your left hand is the front hand here. Same option to explore a side body stretch. You might lower your back hand to your waist or maybe support the belly. Your front hand flips skyward, and we take a little lean back, gentle lean, stretching through the front side body. And then exhale, return to our warrior two arms. Maybe two or three more this way. Inhale and a lean. Exhale and warrior two. Up to two more with your breath here. Inhale and exhale. Maybe one more breath this way. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Now making our way back to our tabletop. So maybe grounding the hands down to the mat, heel toeing your front foot around. We're heading back to tabletop here. And then back to our mats for a comfortable seat. This time I'll invite you to bring the feet wide, knees bent, and stretch the hands back behind you, just a comfortable supported position. Um, and here, rather than rounding through the spine, we're really trying to find a lengthened, comfortable spinal position here. Few knee waves. Inhale, we'll drop the knees right. Exhale, center. Inhale, drop the knees left. And exhale, center. Inhale and exhale a few more times. Just Gentle wave side to side here. Moving at a pace that feels good for your body. Moving with your own breath. Inhale, knees wave to one side. Exhale, center. Inhale, the knees wave second side. Exhale, center. Let's pause when you've evened things out on both sides. Then making our way to 
uh, sort of sitting on one hip here. We're working our way to a side plank position, gentle side plank. So this could be on your hand, hand aligned under the shoulder, or it could be hand or the elbow resting down on the mat here. When you feel ready, you might press up to a side plank, lifting the bottom hip away. If it feels comfortable, your top hand could support your um, abdomen here, your belly or hand could rest on the hip. You could stretch the top hand skyward. We're lifting out of the bottom shoulder. You might explore stretching your top leg on the mat or even lifting the top leg for a few moments. Inhales and exhale breaths. Maybe one more inhale and exhale here. And then softly, gently lowering the hip to the mat and moving back to that wide legged seat. So feet grounded, knees bent and hands supporting you here at just at the back of the body here. And a few knee waves, inhale to one side, exhale center, inhale, second side, exhale center, maybe one more to each side, feeling length in the spine here, a little lift out of the shoulders and the heart. We're setting up for second side, so we'll find a seat rolling onto one hip, just rolling onto one hip. Now we're setting up um, for the second side. So you want to be on the opposite hip, hand grounding under the shoulder, or you might ground the elbow down underneath the shoulder and maybe stacking the knees a little bit. When you're ready, pressing and lifting the hips up off the mat in a side plank position. Now, once again, that top arm here could support the belly. Your hand could also be at the waist or stretch skyward. You might choose to stretch your top leg along on the mat or maybe even lift that top leg away for a few breaths here. Inhale breath, exhale breath, lifting out of the bottom shoulder. Maybe one more breath here. And then easing that hip down to the mat. And one more time, an easy knee wave here. Inhale, knees to one side. Exhale, center. Inhale, second side. Exhale, center. I'll invite you to take maybe just one more knee wave side to side. Then coming to a tall, comfortable seat, cross-legged or legs long or any other comfortable seated posture. Let's just take a few final stretches before we go into our final rest. Interlace the fingers in front of the body, flip the palms away from you, and then round, drawing the chin towards the chest and pressing the palms forward, feeling an opening space through the shoulder blades. Take an inhale breath here. Exhale breath. And then gently come back to seated. Release the hands and roll the shoulders. Inhale up, exhale back and down. Maybe one more inhale forward and up. Exhale back and down. Easy side bends. Drop one hand to the mat. We'll float the other arm skyward. Take a little lean, easy lean to one side for just a breath. And then return and second side. Ground one hand down. Opposite hand floats up. And we take a little lean to the other side. Easy side bend here. And return. Little softness and inhale. Shoulders roll forward and up. Exhale back and down. Maybe one more. Inhale forward and up. Exhale, really softening the shoulders from the ears. And making our way to maybe our left hip, seated on the left hip. 
and we'll begin to walk ourselves down to a side lying resting position. So you might rest your forehead or cheek on your bottom arm if that feels good, or you might find a pillow or another support. Maybe bend the knees and stack the hips, knees and ankles. If it feels good, you could take a blanket or a pillow between the knees for some support. And the top hand, maybe just resting on the mat. Here in our final relaxation, noticing if you can adjust the body to become even 10% more comfortable here. There might be some small adjustment or change you could make. And go ahead and make that change now. Then coming back to the breath, breathing into the belly if that's accessible today, or maybe imagining you're breathing into the heart in 360 degrees, front, back, sides of the heart. Breathing deeply as is comfortable and possible today. If it feels good, you might allow the eyelids to become heavy and perhaps the eyes even close gently. Sensing into a space of rest and ease and stillness. An opportunity to sense into some quiet there between and behind the thoughts as they arise in your consciousness. There between and behind each inhale and exhale. The peaceful spaces that hold our experience. Sensing into that relaxation and ease for just a few more minutes of our practice. And then when you're ready, you might begin to find some gentle movement in fingers and toes. And very gently, very easily pressing up to that tall seat once again. Any comfortable tall seat is welcome. Thank you for taking time for the practice for your own health and well being today. <laughs>